Hi guys, it's me Kato Sima and this is The Sims 4. Welcome to my brand new video of my first mod review on my channel, which is Kato Sima. Subscribe if you haven't already. So anyway, this is a mod review for the Slumber Party mod by Brit Pinky Sims. And it's a brand new mod that I literally came across this morning and I was like, oh my gosh, I need this in my game. This mod is giving me life right now. So anyway, this mod is a custom kids event, a custom kids party, and it adds many things into the game including goals, interactions, whims and custom rewards. So this mod adds the custom whim of be wanting to throw a slumber party and it has a set dress code so there is a lot of attention to detail in this mod. The dress code is sleepwear obviously and your guests will show up in sleepwear. The goals it adds to the game is for kids and adults and the custom rewards are conversions from the Sims 3 generations. So the conversions in the game include the interactive dressing up chest that was in the Sims 3 which allows your kids to play fancy dress and everything like that and the mods notes does mention that this feature of being able to dress up and the dressing up things you have will be dependent on the DLC that you have in your game. Also, your Sims guests they sometimes will sleep, they sometimes won't sleep, but that is all dependent on their energy level when they show up at the party. And the guests will go home right at the end of the event. They will not stay until morning, so it's not an overnight sleepover. It's just in the party event that has to end whenever it ends. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you do, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. So yeah, as you can see, the Sim right now is our sim child and she's going to arrange the slumber party hopefully it works let's see so yeah as you can see i've got another a number of oh my gosh we can afford it we can afford to throw a slumber party so yeah as you can see it has a great description and everything like that it says throw a slumber party for yourself and all your friends stay up all night having fun eating snacks and watching tv gold level rewards include new children's television so yeah, we can get a television for our room, which is great because we are running really low on money right now. So guest is two required. So I'm gonna have the host as a Naya Kent, just because she knows a number of kids in the ha outside. And I'm gonna get her to invite Bethany Zhang over and Jeremiah as well. And the grown-up is obviously going to be Faith Kent, her mum, who is the only adult living in the household. Okay, yeah, so it does work. So, also, you can throw the event at your own home, or you can also throw it at one of the guests' home, just like any other event in the game. So, yeah, I'm going to throw it at my own home, just because I want to throw it here, and I've set up here, so... So yeah, one thing that I am going to do is add a stereo to the game because I just realised I haven't got a stereo and that is what I want. So I'll be back shortly. Okay guys, so I am back. I've just added a stereo and an additional bed to the game. I had to get rid of loads of the stuff in the room but at least we've got four beds which is enough for the kids now to sleep at the house so anyway the first thing that i'm going to do is get the kids to go on the battle station downstairs also i'm going to quickly change her pajama outfit because i've just realized that she's in this whole new hairstyle thing and it's got a whole new hair color so i'm going to quickly change her hair color so sleepwear and then i'll put her in that outfit because that hair is fine What? Okay, so yeah, we have to buy stuff. So I'm gonna quickly go to the computer and see if we can buy a Void Critter card pack. Hopefully we can, but obviously I've got to sit down first because for some reason the computer don't work when I don't sit on the chair first. So I've done that and now I'm going to order, I'm guessing it's in order. A boost pack from the Void Critter website in the game. So it says Anaya purchased a Void Critter's booster pack. She can open it from her inventory to discover which monster is hidden inside. So now she's done that, I'm gonna quickly go to the inventory and do that and see if we can start the battle. So we'll open the booster pack. Um yeah, there's only one toy, 
So we're going to battle the Void Critter against... Okay, we'll try that one. I'll see if that works. I don't know if it will because I don't think he has any cards. So I'm guessing it won't. And it does work, okay. And yeah, I was guessing he was going to have to order pizza. So I'm going to quickly order that. So I'll go to the phone and select. So we're going to do home, hire a service, I think it's in there, and then order a pizza. So yeah, we have enough to order a pizza, so I'm going to do a pizza delivery, and I think we'll get a pepperoni pizza. And it's on its way, so that's great, and I'm going to turn on the music. Okay guys, so yeah, I'm gonna quickly try and get this whim. So I'm gonna turn on the stereo and I'll turn it on tween pop. And so yeah, I'll get her to dance and I'll get her to dance with the other kids as well. That may do it. So yeah, I'm going to invite Dallas to dance, so I'll invite Dallas and I'll invite Jeremiah as well. Invite Jeremiah to dance. And we haven't got our pizza yet, so that's not very promising. I don't know when the party actually ends, but seven minutes. Okay, guys, we're not even getting a bronze for this. And our pizza's not going to show up on time. Oh my gosh, this was a failure. I failed on the first try, guys. This slumber party was a total disaster. We froze for a while, the pizza didn't show up, and it ended before it even started. Seriously, all we've done is dance. Oh, it's gone up again. Okay, let's hope we get this pizza before. Is the pizza even here? Oh my gosh, he's here. She's he or she? I don't know. I think it's a she. So, yeah, then quickly go to the door and get this pizza, and let's see the name. It's a she, guys. Sorry about that, ma'am. So yeah, guys, just in time, we've got the pizza. So hopefully I can just call to meal and all the kids are gonna come rushing in to get the pizza. Or I might put it in the middle of the dining table, actually. So yeah, I just got the pizza in the middle of the table, so now I'm going to quickly call to meal and I need to set this at the front door again because for some reason the back door is the front door and that's just a total disaster. So yeah, I think everyone's going to eat. And I'm going to get the kids to talk again, so I'll do, let's see, friendly. Um, bright and day. She's not going to brag about her grades, even though she is an A student, but we're not going to brag today. And yeah, as you guys can see, the party is over. It was a complete disaster. We just got the pizza just in time, so we actually got that one done. But apart from that, it was a disaster and it did not work. We literally lost before we even started. So, friendly and heartfelt compliment. So, I'm going to try and get her, I'm going to pause it quickly, really quickly, see if we can get this one done before it starts. So, I think it'll be mischief and scare and mischief. I'm going to get him to scare his sister, mischief and 
he can't scare his sister, okay? See if you can do it here. You can only scare him, okay? Maybe she can scare her, let's see. Mischief. That's annoying. I wonder if he's like got a trait or something that makes him easy to scare. Let's see if she can scare him. Oh, we can scare him. I think he must have a trait that makes it means it's easy to scare. Which, yeah, I didn't know about, but for some reason we can only scare him. We can't scare the girl, but we got a silver. Oh my gosh, like right in time. That was just in time. Oh, this mod is literally so cute. And this was literally turned around in seconds. I cannot believe how quickly this turned around. It was a disaster in the beginning. And yeah, as you guys know, it wasn't working out too well. And we do have a book somewhere. Hopefully there's a kid book in there. Let's see, open. We need a children's book. I think that's a children's book. Sci-fi. Children, okay, Lord of the Swings, we're gonna read that. So yeah, I'm gonna quickly get Faith to read it to all of the kids and we'll read it up. Oh. Okay, we can only read it to Anaya and Kent, Anaya and Dallas. But I think maybe we'll be able to invite the others to listen as well. So I'll get them to read it up here. So we're going to sit here and read it. And I don't know if we can invite them to listen. Invite to listen to story. And invite to listen to story. So yeah, this is literally so cute guys and I have to take a screenshot of this scene because this is our first Sims sleepover and it was the cutest thing I have ever seen and I would definitely recommend this mod to download for the game. It adds a lot and even though it's only small interactions and many interactions that we already have in game, it's different, it's so cool. So yeah, I definitely recommend this mod guys. So yeah, I'm going to quickly see if we can get any more of the whims done. So I'm going to get her to talk about candy to the kids. So, where is it? Infuse about candy. There. And friendly. Infuse about candy again. And hopefully we can get like the highest level of gold in this video. And we did, we got a gold medal guys. So it says, reward, what a great slumber party. Your guests had an amazing time and you made some new friends. Check your household inventory to see your new rewards. So I'm gonna quickly check that and I'll put that out there. Let's see, I'm gonna take a screenshot of that because that's our first slumber party and we got a gold, which was great. So let's go back to build mode and go to our personal inventory. Okay guys, so I've just put the room back to normal and I've added in the things that we won from our slumber party success. So this is the stereo that we won, the per per stereo, which was from Sims 3 Generations. I don't know if there's any recolors, so I'm gonna see if there is. Oh my gosh, and there is. There is a number of recolors you can get for the stereo. So yeah, it comes in all these different colors, which is really great. So you'll be able to kind of match it to your room and your child's style in the game. And also we got this television, which is pretty big for a kid's television. But anyway, let's see if there are any recolors. And there is as well. So that's really cool. Oh, I like this. The 
we're gonna have a yellow television no matter what and also we won the dressing up chest so yeah we, there's a number of recolors for that as well so they've got a girly version you've got a more boyish version and then there's just like regular unisex versions as well Okay guys, so for my final review I would give this mod a 10 out of 10 rating. This game is perfect for family players who are looking for more family life, real life gameplay in The Sims 4. The rewards are amazing, there's an amazing amount of recolours so you're able to match the rewards up to your Sims decor and also this adds so much more to the child lifestyle in The Sims 4. And it also adds to the family play. Having the parents so involved in the slumber party event adds that realism to the game that I think a lot of Sims players do enjoy. So I would definitely recommend this mod to add to your game. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please like, share, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching.